Hi, I'm Molly Geisinger, intern at American Craft Magazine. This is August, September 2016. While we were researching this issue on wearables, I thought somebody must be protesting fast fashion with the sweatshops and the environmental costs in a creative way. So I hunted around and I found Maura Brewer and Abigail Glom Lathbury who've launched a line of jumpsuits as a fast fashion alternative. I don't know when I've had so much fun interviewing two people. They're serious, but hilarious. Nika Feldman has one of the most wide-ranging and inspiring practices I think I've learned about in a long time. She describes herself as a textile artist, rag picker, and costume ethnographer. And when you unpack what that is, it's so spot on. She has traveled the world working and living in Nepal, in India, in Japan. And wherever she goes, two things guide her work. First, she uses only recycled clothing. It's kind of this direct link into whatever culture she's in. And she also limits herself to just scissors, thread, and needle. Limiting herself in this way allows her to sort of connect with people through this universal language of sewing. This issue, we take you on a tour of jewelry designer maker and gallery owner April Higashi's serene Berkeley, California residence at her three-tiered sanctuary, which is part gallery, part studio, and part home, Higashi seamlessly balances sophistication with comfort, art with nature, and work with family. Bonus, check out our new website at craftcouncil.org. 